What's up, YouTubes? Welcome back to another Swamp and Stomp episode. Now that we're done with turkey season down in South Florida, um, we're jumping right into gear season. So I was going through my garage and kind of going through uh, some of these saddles and such, and I really wanted to talk about the ESS saddle. It's a tethered Eberhardt um, signature series. It's the saddle that I use primarily this past season. As you can see, I have several different saddles to choose from. Um, we got the Phantom XL right here. I got an Era Hunter on um, the Crestral uh, Flex, I believe it's called. And then I have my JX3. Um, but this video is specifically going to be about the ESS. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Before we jump into this video, I got a quick announcement to make. If you guys want to come out and shoot a tournament with us, um, come out to the Florida Outdoor Expo, April 22nd through the 24th. It's at the South Florida Fairground. It's coming right up. Um, there's some really, really cool vendors out there. Rick Young Outdoors, the guys that make these straps, are going to be out there. Um, Bow Spider and School Hill Archery is the one putting together the whole tournament. So come check us out. Um, you can register for the tournament. I'll go ahead and drop that down in the description. And I uh, hope to see all y'all out there. All right, so uh, just a couple things. These here saddles are what they call a uh, full panel type saddle where they have this webbing in between for some of you guys that are new to saddle hunting um, there's a couple different types this is the most common type and then there's the ESS um, this is basically all straps as you can see there is no webbing or anything in between them um, so it's a dual panel setup so you have your main panel here and then there's another panel that you can move around for back support or leg support or what have you and then they come in different sizes. Um, the Arrow Hunter, this is, I believe they came in two sizes. Um, there was like a medium and a large. I got that, I'm gonna set this aside, we're not talking about that in this video. And then the Phantom as well, this is the XL. Even though um, I'm a, not really made for the XL, but I prefer this size over the smaller one. But for now, we're going to be talking about the ESS. So for long sits, I have found that the ESS was extremely comfortable because um, you're able to almost double up these, I think they're about two inch um, straps and you can double up on them on your legs and where the actual saddle sits on your legs, it distributes the pressure a little better and you don't get as fatigued as you would with, for example, these type, this type of saddle where all of your weight is really resting on these straps. It's like a little one inch straps. Yeah, some of it goes into the actual mesh itself, but the majority tends to be on the one inch strap. So for long sits, um, you can get a little bit of a hip pinch and some fatigue in your legs. Now, there was a learning curve for me with the ESS because I do run a pouch on this side and this is where I have my uh, my tether that's pretty much all I run in here and I'll typically use a um, linesman loop because I'm doing um, SRT so I really don't need a lineman loop going up the tree so that's pretty much all I have in there and then I'll also um, use my my uh, back band I'll leave that in there as well Chico can you please get <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. So, 
I also have my pull-up line in this little pouch, but even with just your tether and your pull-up line in the pouch, it creates some weight. So as you're trying to put this thing on, what will tend to happen is your, uh, your pouch will want to sag and then you have to get these two panels lined up in order to put it on correctly. They um, Tether created a video showing you exactly how to get it, but that takes a little bit of um, time to figure it out and such. And you're usually doing this in the dark, so um, that's one of the drawbacks with it was uh, getting that all lined up. I had a buddy of mine that he used it a few times, and each and every time that he used it, he would give it back to me in a mess. He would uh, get these all twisted up, and and it would get to the point where he couldn't even use it. I think he sat in the tree with it all twisted up and hated it. Um, so there is a little bit of a learning curve. It's not something that you're just going to go ahead and grab and get out there and you know have it all figured out. This does have these little leg straps, which I have found that I really didn't even use them much. Um, a lot of times I forget to even put it on uh, how you're supposed to just because it's kind of negligible. So I, I end up having them behind my legs. Um, I don't recommend doing that, but that's something that I noticed that I was doing. I thought these buckles were going to be a little bit of a pain, but they ended up working out really well. Um, they, they stay out of the way and you know they don't they don't really bother me much um i really enjoyed the uh the bridge here um it slides on your tether real nice so that if you have to like make any moves it, it it's really nice to be able to just slide around on that and also the adjustment at first it was a little bit tricky to get this buckle adjusted but after you go ahead and do it a few times you'll figure out how to how to do it on the fly pretty easily you do have to remove your weight from the uh, bridge itself before you can actually do any kind of adjustments. So I'm not going to go through how to put it on and all that stuff. There's plenty of videos on that. I, this video is more of my opinion on the ESS. Um, what else you got? You have all of these gear loops. I, I didn't really use them as much as uh, I could have. Um, what I do have on my gear loop here is um, uh, milkweed and I have one of these little pouches on all of my saddles pretty much so I can just go ahead and reach in there and grab some milkweed and toss it see which way the wind's going um, one thing that uh, that I did have to uh, figure out is how how high I wanted my tether and how, um, because that affected where these buckles um, ended up that's not something that I had to worry about with my other saddles, but being that I use uh, binoculars and I keep them on the whole time while I'm hunting, even when I'm in the tree, um, I did notice like if I wanted it to lean around or move in any certain direction, um, sometimes my binoculars or my rangefinder would bump, bump into this. You can wrap these up with some quiet strips, but I, I don't think it'll stay on there very well just because um, this your tether is gonna wanna slide around and it's gonna rip those quiet strips right off. So you can probably do something right here on the side, but I have found whenever um, my binoculars did hit them, it was usually right up here in the front. So quiet strips wouldn't help. But that's just one of those things that you'll figure out where your tether height um, sits best so that that's not an issue. Well, aside from that, uh, I think this saddle is very, um, very well built, very well thought of. Um, like I said, it was my go-to saddle this whole past season, and it, it was like that for a reason. I mean, I did, I did also like to use my um, Phantom XL for like, you know, quick hunts, hunts that I wasn't going to be sitting in the tree all day, um, or for less than four hours. I would definitely grab my um, Phantom saddle. The uh, Arrow Hunter actually lent it out to a buddy, so I didn't use that at all this past season. And the JX3, I ended up using it, I think, at the end of the season when I went out with my son. He used the climber, and then I got in the same tree with him and used the JX3. Um, but if you guys want to see a video about my JX3, let me know down in the comments. I'll put something together. I'm actually planning on hunting out of that, um, I think, most of this next season. 
So I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna get it all done up and get it really nice and set up. When we were in Kentucky uh, about two or three years ago, I used the JX3 the whole time and I had it down pretty well. So I had all my camera gear already on there and I really didn't use a backpack um, the whole time I was out there. I just went ahead and put everything on the JX3. So that was really cool. Planning on doing that again. Um, I think that's, that's about it. I don't really have a whole lot more to say about the ESS other than that it's a great um, saddle. If you are going to go this route, um, make sure that you practice, practice, practice. Get used to it because it can be very frustrating if you're not used to um, how you put it on and all that stuff. If you get tangled up, like sometimes you'll get this strap behind the other one or your strap here will loop and then go through. Um, and then that creates like a little bit of a bind. Once you figure out those things, it's by far one of the most comfortable saddles that I've used. And that says a lot, you know, just because even the XL and, and the, uh, the Phantom, I, you know, you wouldn't think that sitting on these traps would be very comfortable, but it surprisingly is. All right, so it's gonna be a short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, anything that I may have missed, anything that you want me to uh, go a little bit deeper into, um, we can do that. Just let me know down in the comments. And uh, thanks for checking us out. If you haven't already, please make sure you uh, hit that like button if you like this video. Um, be sure to subscribe and also check out our Patreon page. Um, going forward, all of our uh, giveaways that we're gonna be doing are gonna be for Patreon members only. So um, if you guys wanna get in on that, Make sure you um, check that out. Hit the little bell notification so you guys get uh, notified when new videos come out. We have a lot of uh, really cool stuff coming up this season. If you were um, following us from last season, we did that scouting workshop. We're going to be putting that together this season as well. Um, pretty close to season, to deer season, so that we can do like another kickoff party and all that. And that is it. See you guys on the woods. Be safe and... Uh, Oh, yeah.